When creating content that will be featured on the front end of your Joomla instance, you first have to understand a little bit about the way content is saved and organized in the back end of the Joomla content management system. This tutorial illustrates how to create and save categories and articles in Joomla 3.2. To get started, go to the Content tab in the main menu of the Control Panel and open up your Category Manager. You can also open up the Category Manager through the Side menu. Categories are like folders that exist primarily in the back end of your Joomla instance. Essentially, categories help you stay organized. Once inside the Category Manager, you'll notice that by default, you have one category titled Uncategorized. Later on in this tutorial series, we'll show you how to delete any content you don't need. But to create a new category, click on the New button in the toolbar. Whenever you create a category, an article, a menu item, or a module, pay attention to the asterisks. These asterisks indicate required information. As you create a category, you'll notice there's only one asterisk next to the title field. The only thing you need to successfully create a category and save it is that title. Everything else is optional, and there are many other features to learn about and utilize, and we'll cover some in later tutorials. But you have to add a title. We're going to add in a title for this category. And I could use the JCE editor down below to create a description for the category, but remember, everything else is optional. I'll click on the Save and Close button, and I'll be returned to the Category Manager. I'll get the green message letting me know that the category was saved successfully, and I'll also see the Art Classes category listed below. Remember, I can always open it back up and change or modify it in any way as I develop my content. Now, if I wanted to create a new category and save this one, I can click on the Save a New button in the toolbar. You'll notice the green message that the old category was saved successfully, and I'll add a title to create a new category. Once I'm done, I'll click on the Save and Close button to be returned to the Category Manager where I can see both of the categories that I created. After successfully creating categories, open up your Article Manager by clicking on this tab in the side menu or by going to Content Article Manager at the top of the page. You'll notice that you have one Getting Started article in the Article Manager. This article is linked to the Home menu item on your home page. If you go to the front end of your Joomla instance, you can see this Getting Started article. Again, in later tutorials, we're going to show you how to replace this with an article of your very own. By returning to the back end of the site, we can click on the New button to create a new article. Once again, as you create the article, pay attention to those asterisks. You have to create a title, so we're going to add a title in for this article. And we'll also want to make sure that we save this article into one of the categories we created. For now, we'll put this in the Art Gallery Tours category. Next, I want to use the JCE Editor to add in some article text. Now, many times, users write articles directly in the back end of their Joomla instance. Many times, however, users will write the article in a word processor like Microsoft Word, and they'll have the inclination to copy and paste that text into their Joomla instance. Notice, though, how there's formatting in this article. When I copy and paste this text, I'm also copying the Microsoft Word formatting. I'm going to return to my Joomla site, but I don't want to paste that text directly in this area here. By doing so, I'd also be pasting in the Microsoft Word formatting. Now, that's different from web formatting, and it is potentially damaging to the site. I want to use this Paste as Plain Text feature in the JCE Editor. By clicking on that button, I can paste the text in this window and then click on the Insert button down below. That will remove any formatting that came with the text from Microsoft Word. Then I can use various features of the JCE Editor to format the article. For now, I'm going to create a heading, and in later tutorials I'll show you different ways to format your articles. For now, we'll click on the Save and Close button in the toolbar. If we return to the front end of the site, we'll notice that nothing has actually changed. If we refresh the page, we'll still see the Getting Started article. The next tutorial will show you how to link this home menu item to the article that you've just created.